Right, ankle test. So um, we're looking for dorsal flexion, that knee coming over the toe. How far can it come over the toe with the feet staying nice and flat to the floor? Um, quick, simple, easy test. All you need is a nice flat wall. Um, it doesn't even have to be a big wall. I've got a little bit of a pillar here. That works nicely. Um, or we could just use the door. Actually, I use the door because it's got a skirting board and that might make a bit of a difference because there's a little bit of a gap there. So I'm going to use the wall, like the skirting board, because obviously the skirting board comes out a bit. It'd be more apparent. So first of all, guys, I'm going to go for the my good side. Uh, let's say I haven't done any mobility before um, this video, so it won't be great. But that gives you a good indication of what we're looking for. So, from what we're looking for, the quick test, the quick or the measuring tool is the fist with the thumb. We ran that up against the wall, and then we we'll bring our big toe close to your hand as possible. Yeah, close to your hand as possible. There, and then I'm just going to lean that knee in, keeping the foot flat to the ground, guys. Don't cheat it. Come in here or lunge forward. You want it, should be able to sit through there naturally. There's a bit of tension here. And then know where the tension is. So I'm not quite touching that wall. I should be. Three fingers. I'm three fingers away. I've got a bit of tension here and a lot of tension at the back. That's from running um, and not stretch, no, not foam rolling after the run. Let's have a look on the right side, which is normally my worst side. Um, so we're there. Forward. That's about three fingers as well. That's that's the, that's not bad for me. What the, well, it's bad for the left side, but that's about normal for the right. But it's even, which is not too bad when it's even. Normally, I have probably about one finger gap on my left and a three on my right. So can you imagine what that must be when it comes down into the squat? You notice. I notice that my right leg, my right foot twists out, okay, to accommodate that lack of movement through the knee or through the ankle and let the knee go over the toe, so it has to come out. You work more on my hip. There's always something that has to compensate. And then obviously there's a slight tilt in my hips as well, because this one hip's going lower and this one's not. And then over time, um, this leg works more, this leg doesn't, and you'll get a weakness here, and then there's an injury. All right, so ankle test, do it properly. Sorry, if you know, uh, do it properly, um, get it done, be honest, and then we can work from there, um, improving that range of motion.